Thank you. This is one island they weren't ready to see. Cruise ship passengers hoping to be in the Caribbean ended up docked in Manhattan because of Hurricane Matthew. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is live on the west side where passengers, they just want to go home. Tracy? Christine, the Hudson River is not exactly the beach vacation these frustrated passengers envision. Now, they were expecting to go to the Bahamas, but Hurricane Matthew rerouted them. And they say that's just the beginning of their problems. A dream vacation aboard the Carnival Pride cruise ship quickly turning into a nightmare. It's not the experience I signed up for. Late Saturday night, passengers received this email just hours before they were supposed to set sail from Baltimore, Maryland to the Bahamas, stating their cruise would be rerouted to New York City, then New Brunswick, Canada, because of Hurricane Matthew, leaving guests scrambling. We all have bathing suits, flip flops, sundresses. I'm walking around New York City in my husband's shoes with toilet paper stuffed in the toes. But when the ship docked Tuesday. Passengers were told they would not be going to Canada. Instead, remain docked here on the Hudson before slowly heading back to Baltimore on Wednesday evening. Many demanding to know why they're not getting back sooner. If they're really concerned about our lives in the danger of the storm, we should be heading back now. A Carnival Cruise Line spokesperson tells us they are taking a prudent course of action to keep the ship out of harm's way and provide guests with a safe and enjoyable vacation experience. Passengers waited up to two hours in customer service lines for information. We just want to go home at this point. There's nothing they could do to make this cruise, if you want to call it a cruise, better. I love New York. It's a beautiful city, but I didn't pay $3,000 to sit in a port for 48 hours. Now, the ship is scheduled to depart here at 5 o'clock tomorrow, and they'll be back in Baltimore on Sunday. Now, Carnival Cruises says they will be giving passengers up to $250 the ship and 50% off a future cruise, but many people I spoke with said they are not taking Carnival up on that offer. We're live tonight from the West Side. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Okay.